So we're having a bit of fun with the title. It's not exactly a $3 phone, but it is a $3 a month phone right now on AT&T. We'll go over the deals in a moment. Link in the description does help the channel. You can get it through Samsung and get those deals through whoever your carrier happens to be. But I wanted to go back and look at the Galaxy A15 5G for a couple of different reasons. And number one are those carrier deals. Because when we first reviewed this phone, that'll be at the end of the end of the video, by the way, the review where I go over pictures and stuff like that. You can see kind of the performance of what this thing can do. But when I first reviewed it, I said, this is the phone that's awesome through T-Mobile at X point in the year for like $5 a month. This is the phone that's great through Verizon through X a month with a contract. This is the phone that's great on Metro PCS at some point in the year when you get a phenomenal deal on it. We've started to kind of see that now with the different carrier deals that you can have on this particular phone. Verizon with 36 months is 9 bucks a month, a little bit more expensive. Uh, do you get uh, T-Mobile? With, uh, I think, 24 months. I think that was the one that was 9 bucks a month because it's 24 months. Then you get Verizon's 5 bucks, And then AT&T's $3 a month. But you get the idea. The figures may change. You know, you catch each carrier on a different day. That might make a difference. But this is the phone that a lot of people are going to pick up and have in their pocket for that reason. And I know it's very tough doing these reviews and these videos because people who watch multiple phone reviews of phones that they're not buying are enthusiasts. So the comments inevitably kind of drift towards, well, there's no reason. And I got a comment the other day. I forget, I forget whether it was on this phone or the A55 or something like that. A gentleman was saying there's no reason why you'd ever buy one of these phones over just an older flagship. There's no reason. Sure there are. There are plenty of reasons why you do that. Because you can't walk into your AT&T store and say, excuse me, sir, do you have like a Note 20 Ultra laying around in the back that you'd be willing to give me for $3 a month? People aren't always willing to outlay three and four hundred dollars. They don't necessarily want a renewed device. There are plenty of reasons why new devices like the A15 and the quality of them matter. This is a very nice device that you could get for two hundred dollars. Gorgeous display, decent enough performance. The Dimensity 6100 Plus is decent enough on gaming. Pictures. Go and watch that video at the end of this video, the review, where I see that I put up the picture samples. In good lighting, this thing gives you a really, really, really nice image. Rivals what I get out of my Galaxy A54, which is a more expensive device. In low light, things fall apart, okay? So you're not getting the best low light performance. But if you're honest with yourself and you're taking pictures in daylight, this thing gets really nice. You get one UI on here. It's running Android 14. You're getting four years of updates, and uh, four years of major upgrades, I think five years of security updates. And that's the other retort that I get. Well, who's going to keep a device like this, these budget devices, for five years? A lot of people. Open your eyes. Look around. If you, how many J-series devices do you still see from, from people who are on the Android side? How many iPhone 7s do you still see around in 8s? How many 11s do you still see in people's pockets? A lot of people hold on to these budget devices for a long time because they don't need a lot out of their phone. It makes sense for a lot of people. So it, 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 you, you got to kind of break out of the box that you're thinking of. And yes, I know overseas, you get a lot of choices. You get Poco that I hear a million times, but the software support's not as good anymore uh, over there. So as, as the Samsung right now. And what else do you have to do? Well, you get it on Amazon, okay? Let's say you have AT&T right now here in the United States. You used to pay in monthly. Okay, buy, just buy one of those Poco phones from overseas. Okay, great. So you're going to change your carrier because it's not going to work on AT&T, Right. You're going to change your phone carrier. You're going to buy it off of Amazon. You're going to get it. You're going to hope the band's like People aren't doing that. I understand that this channel can't just be U.S. focused, but right now for the A15, I'm focusing on the United States. Overseas, yes, you have some very competitive options. I get it. You know, Go to town, man. Have a good time with that. But here in the United States, people aren't doing that. We're locked in with certain carriers. So if you're somebody that goes into your carrier every two or three years – doesn't want a lot out of their phone, and also doesn't want to spend a lot of money, this is a great phone that you're still getting. It's not the free phone, okay? It's not That's going to be the A0 series, whatever, when that comes out. It's not the free phone. You know, on a promotion, you might get this for free at some point later on in the summer. That's totally possible. But it is the excellent choice for $3 a month. You're getting a lot of phone for that. So for your $3 on top of whatever your carrier, your regular wireless service costs you, that's a pretty good deal for a lot of people. They're going to sign up for that. And let me tell you something. As far as phones go, for just basic needs, this is a pretty good one. 
you're getting a relatively as long as you, you know i understand teardrop notch or whatever but you're getting the most up-to-date samsung design language beautiful flat back it's all plastic so you don't have to worry about shattering everything anything that's pretty good beautiful display the oled 90 hertz all the rest of it decent gaming fantastic battery life it's going to last you all day long all the boxes that you need to check at a certain price point the samsung galaxy a15 does and then you add on a better than average camera at this price range and then you add on the software support at this price range it makes a difference i i can't tell you how many times i'm frustrated by comments that poo poo the extra software support don't do that don't do that for a couple different reasons number one there are people who hand all of these devices hang on to them for years and years and years so they're going to want their device updated they're going to want it secure they're going to want you know they're going to want to use it and they're going to want it to be smooth they're going to want extra one ui features and optimizations as they come through they get that with this device then there's the secondary market yeah you might not sell it because it's a 200 hundred dollar phone or whatever but it keeps the value of the device up longer that makes a difference. So understand, you know, kind of pull yourself out of the box of, well, just buy, you know, why would you even why, just buy a flag? Buy an S21 Ultra. Okay, go into Verizon and ask how many S21 Ultras they have in stock for $2 a month. They're going to look at you funny. But a lot of people got to do that. And they need devices too. So that's where a device like the Galaxy A15 comes into play. So I'm happy that Samsung took the time brought some premium features down here, actually uh, 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 sat down and put some things in here that make it worth the money and make it worth your while if you're somebody who doesn't need a lot out of your phone. There's some nice creature comforts in this device. Really good. You get an excellent battery life, like I said, the camera, all the rest of it. So if you're somebody who doesn't need a lot out of their phone, you got that J series banging about, you got that A11, you don't spend a lot on these devices, you're not an iPhone person, so you don't want to deal with that. If you're just an Android person that wants a good, solid phone with an excellent software experience, the A15 is absolutely worth it for you. Absolutely worth it for you. And ignore the nonsense about oh, Poco and this, that, and the other, and just buy whatever. That's not for you. If you're somebody who can do that, if you're an enthusiast, then you know who you are. But if you're not already kind of in that world, then you're not going to want that phone. You're going to want this phone. You're going to want to put it in your pocket for four years and forget about it and pay your $299 a month. That's the point. So as much as we love to get wrapped into all this other stuff, these devices matter. The Moto G, or forget what it is. I don't know if it's a G Play or the G Play, whatever, that $150 phone matters. These phones are important, and I love seeing more competition at this price range, and we should be encouraging that as opposed to just dismissing and say, get something else, get an older whatever, or get something from overseas. That's not competition for here in the United States. We need more manufacturers bringing out phones like this and seeing these premium features or once premium features brought down to a lower price point. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve-licious day.